Hello, this is Danny Brown, and I'm going to teach you how to do three things today. One, how to access your class list, the list of all the students who are registered in each of your classes. You'll get the name and the student number. Two, how to turn those student numbers into uh, mail addresses for the students. And three, how to get on Google Classroom and invite the students for each class, invite them to join your class. Okay, let's go to Google Chrome, that's first, or whatever your web browser. <clears throat> now I am going to click Google, uh, excuse me, AWA portal. That's where we're going to go first. And you can see my uh, login here. I believe you know uh, your user ID and your password. If you do not know your user ID and password, that's going to be a bit of a problem. I sent a note to you about it uh, in my last email. So you type in your login and your password and then click login. All right, now um, this is your magic button here. It says Campus Plan. It's got the cloud. You click it and now it says Web Service. And you're going to click that. Now you're into the most usable part of the portals. We've got student assignments and reports, which I do not use. I only use Google Classroom to assign things to students. We've got the syllabus, which uh, you already put your um, classes on syllabus, but you can check your syllabus again if you, if you need your syllabi. We've got your uh, grades and registration. This is your class lists. And you've got private information about your students. If you need the students information, you can look up individual students here. Let's go to the uh, grades and registration. Click. Now, this here says uh, these are your classes at a glance. And this is for searching other classes using the name or the class number or the teacher's name. We're going to click here, my classes at a glance. Now, these are all the classes that I teach this year at AWA. Um, here is English 1AA. This is the class name and this is the section name. This is most useful. English 1AA. And uh, over here, this says first semester. It's a first semester class. It's taught Thursday, third period. And there are 12 students enrolled. That's what this number is. These numbers are the numbers of students currently enrolled in your class. Now I'm going to click the green button. Now this is my class, my English 1A class. I have 12 students enrolled. If I click this button right now, I'm going to get their names in Japanese because this kanji button is selected. So I'm going to select English button. And now I'm going to click Hyoshi, which means to show it, um, and OK. Now here are the list of all my students who are currently registered for my class. And I'm going to invite these students to join me on Google Classroom. All right, so I'm going to click and select those, go up to the top, and on Chrome menu, click Edit Copy. Now I've copied those student that all that student information. I'm going to go to my Microsoft Excel, open Excel, and I'm going to paste that information into the Excel. Here we go. Paste. Now, all you need are the numbers, student numbers here, and the names. You don't need anything else. So we're going to highlight those, copy. We're going to open a new Excel file and paste again. All right. Here are the names and student numbers. And 
the next thing we need to do is to change these student numbers into email addresses. So we're going to highlight only the student numbers, go up to the Excel menu, Format, Format menu, click Format, click Sales. There you go. Now you have, I don't know how your Excel is set up, you've got these possibilities. You want to be on Number, Custom. Now, you're going to scroll down here until you get to the at mark, at, and you type quotation mark, Yamanashi, no capital, you want hyphen, now this is hyphen, not dash, Ewa dot ac dot jp, and another quotation mark. All right now when you add this oh excuse me I made a mistake we need another app here that's strange but you need two apps so you're going to add this to each of these student numbers and you'll end up with an example here this is an example of a student number now I'm going to click OK OK I have my student numbers made, okay, and their names. I'm going to open a file, a Microsoft Word file. I've already done it, and English 1A class list, and I'm going to type, uh, excuse me, paste the student names here. I also pasted both the names and the student numbers here just for my own reference because as I'm teaching, the class all year, I will have these names and I can reference them. And then I use this list to send emails to my whole class. Just copy this, put it in the address box, and send emails to your students. Okay, so I'm going to copy this, save it. Now we're going to close our Excel because we're done with it. Now the next thing we do is go to Google Classroom. I have Google Classroom here bookmarked. You can just type it in if you need. Google Classroom. Now I'm already signed in, so I don't need to sign in. I hope you know how to sign into Google Classroom. Make sure that you see this D here. This means I'm soon signed into my Google account. And you have to sign into your Google account before you can get into Google Classroom. Okay. Now these are some classes I taught last semester, and uh, you can just ignore them. You might have a, a white, clear classroom with no classes. What you're going to do is click your plus to create your class, and you want to create and have a class name. Okay, I'm going to type in English 1AA. And for section, I usually type in the time that it is taught. And I can't remember, is it, is it, is it a second period or third period class? Okay, I may have to change this. Uh, let's say it's second period class, 11.05 to 12.40. Okay, I'm going to create. Okay. So now I'm already into my class, but if I go back to Google Class to start with, there are all my classes, and you can see this is the one that I've added. All right. If you want to edit the name, you can edit the name. Okay. Now <clears throat> I want to add students to my class, so I'm going to go to People. Uh, Danny Brown is the teacher. I want to add students. Okay. And there's the invitation link. Now, type a name or email. I'm going to take this list of student emails, and this is my real class list for English 1AA class. Copy it. And I'm going to paste them. Okay, I just pasted every single student 
in my class. Now I'm going to click. There you go. And now it's ready to invite. Now if I click invite, it's going to send this to those students. I am not going to click invite right now. I don't need those students to join my class now. Okay, um, the students will get that email and they will click the link and they will be joined to your class and later you will open your class, go to people, and you'll see a lot of students who have joined your class. Okay, that's it. I hope that works for you. If you have any questions, let me know.